Togo is an oil-bearing community, but the social and economic lives of the people don't tell a story of affluence or comfort. For the inhabitants of this community in Odwal Kingdom, the only thing life offers is misery. From an environment that is degraded to lack of potable water to insecurity, the people in this kingdom almost live in a state of nature. If you live here, you will hold your hand in your hand anytime a motorbike drives past this makeshift bridge. People do fall, you understand? And when you fall, you know, before you know, the person will not know how to swim. Strangers do die here also. The place is too risky. You see a volume of water that the water can take somebody out of that place. After a troubling farming season, their farm produce end up having no commercial values. Transportation of these goods to reach Port Harcourt no be here. Before, we are loading banana from wood boat to here to Port Harcourt. Because of those uh, simparit, we'll stop it. Anytime our women carry banana and other goods they go, they go block them for road, seize everything, steal the engine too, plenty of our engines. Too. No one is more traumatized than the women. Esther Prince Will, like hundreds of other women in this community, said it takes the grace of God to be delivered of a baby. Just of recent, one born, placenta no coma, get some fever, we go do for night. We no way, before they go break, the picking don't die. There's a school which is not just for the indigenous, but for the neighboring communities. If I was a child, I would tell you the truth. I won't go to school because there's no motivation. We don't have uh, those, uh, how do they call it, the syllabus, who's based on your level of education you want to use to teach the kids. However, to say the classroom blocks are dilapidated is an understatement. Rachel Ramsey, STV News.